These are the mysteries at the museum. These stones are connected to an amazing story of a lucky miner and his find of a lifetime. This is a story about friendship, hope, and a precious discovery. One such prospector is 51-year-old Jake Hoover. Intent on making his fortune, Hoover takes the precaution of purchasing the land he is prospecting so he can have sole ownership of anything he finds. But with the boom winding down, it seems he has missed his opportunity. Hoover spends a year tirelessly panning for gold, but the results are disappointing. Over the course of the year, he was able to find about $250 worth of gold, which is really not a good return. Hoover must have felt terrible. His dream was withering up in front of him. Then one day, his life takes an unexpected turn. He's approached by a local school teacher with an unusual request. She'd like to borrow some soil and rocks from his land for a class demonstration. Hoover is happy to oblige. It's 1895 in Montana. Prospector Jake Hoover has spent more than a year panning for gold. Unfortunately, he has nothing to show for it but a whole lot of pebbles. But when a local school teacher examines his stones, Hoover's fortunes take an unexpected turn. The teacher shows Hoover some pretty blue pebbles she found in the box of soil he provided. And she asks if she can keep some. It's an unusual request, and one which gets Hoover thinking. The wheels in Jake Hoover's head began to turn. What were these pebbles, and might other people want them? Intrigued, Hoover heads back into the hills with the sole purpose of gathering more of the curiously colored stones. Hoover had seen these pebbles before, as had thousands of other prospectors in Montana, but they always just threw them out with the dirt. Scavenging up enough glistening fragments to fill a cigar box, Hoover sends them off to be examined by a minerals expert. But then he receives an intriguing piece of mail. The letter was from Tiffany and Company in New York City. It states that the store's gemologist had been forwarded the stones to examine. And these pretty blue pebbles are anything but worthless. The letter said that these are sapphires. And not just any sapphires, the finest quality sapphires that he had ever seen found in the United States. While sapphires have been discovered in the country before, they were always of poor quality and worth very little. Those of the highest caliber are believed to come only from India. And to Hoover's delight, there is something else in the envelope. Also enclosed was a check for $3,750, which is worth over $100,000 in today's economy. The accidental discovery made by Hoover and his friend launches an entire American industry. In the years that follow, the Montana gem mines become a multi-million dollar business, producing more than 13 million tons of sapphires. Hoover was able to get a slice of this, cash in, pay off his debts. This was a game changer for the entire United States. Today, these Yogo Gulch sapphires, like those discovered by Jake Hoover, are on display at the Mineral Museum in Butte, Montana. It's a reminder that sometimes the most spectacular treasure can be found in the least likely of places.